All right. We are waiting. Here we go. The zebras are back. We have a thumbs up. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, launch. Little false start for match 59, but we're back at it, and we're going to see roughly more of the same. Xbot puts fuel up in the blue boiler. A little bit more success from the Red Alliance getting their gears on board. Get that first rotor churning. Do not get the second, though. And 3024 unable to deliver their gear once again. So that'll be a 75 to 21 lead for Red. Quickly jumps to 75 to 61 as the Blue Alliance puts their reserve gear in to start that first rotor. Great set of teams here in match number six. Our team's hard at work as Ashlyn, 3024, is trying to deliver a gear for the Blue Alliance. They've dropped it off and they're headed back for more. As you see the Blue Boiler being pelted with fuel by 488. The Cyborg Ferrets, 3238, gonna stay out of the way. They give a quick little bump to x just to see if they can disrupt the flow and then back towards their airship. Ferrets, our number one team there, 5-0 and on the weekend, and I believe they have gotten four rotors spinning every time. Their alliance partner's top gun in the Cyborg is going to try to make it 6-for-6 six for, six for our defending Northwest champions. We're a minute 10 seconds to go, and three rotors already rolling for the Red Alliance. 155-111 to 111 is their lead, as Xbot has managed to put 16 kilopascals of pressure into the blue boiler. And they're now tussling with the ferrets in the center of the field. They break free. Everybody heads their separate ways. And keep an eye on the 488 machine at the base of the blue boiler. There goes the fuel. And you see far more fuel going into that boiler than not. An excellent high efficiency shooter out of Xbot, and they're up to 25 now, 26 kilopascals. And with the third blue rotor churning, they are in the lead. 4061, the cyborgs, they are not moving in their retrieval zone. Top Gun has to push their alliance partner out of the way to try to get a gear. Unable to retrieve it, so now they're gonna move back, and they are pinned in by two blue robots. Managed to clear out without touching the rope. And everybody heads back home, although the cyborgs are still motionless. Fourth rotor not spinning for red, and as always, who can get up in the air might make, make the difference. There it goes, Red Alliance gets it churning. Two red robots ready for takeoff. A few more fuel in the boiler from 488, and this is a very interesting conclusion to qualification match number 59. We're going to wait just a second to confirm these scores, and then we'll let you know what's what. Scores are ready to go. Let's put them up on the big board. And with a very interesting conclusion, you see it is the Red Alliance that takes the victory. The ferrets stay perfect. 320 to 311 is the score. And three ranking points for the Red Alliance. Tell you a little more about those cyborg ferrets. I want to welcome to the stage Mr. Gary Thayer. Good morning. I was visiting a little earlier with the ferrets team uh, about their number one defense of their championship from last year. Uh, you know, it makes a big impact on a school when they, when they have a robotics team that supports and pushes STEM in their system. They feel that as they're getting a new school this year, that they are actually getting